Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to inform you that on May the 11th, 2011, May the 11th, 2011, as a part of our distinguished lecture series, the University of Arkansas will be hosting His Holiness the Dalai Lama. This lecture will be held at Bud Walton Arena and will be free to all students. We are extremely pleased to sponsor someone of the Dalai Lama's reputation and stature. He is a spiritual leader respected around the world for his message of compassion, peace, and nonviolence. In fact, Dr. Sidney Burris and Geshe Dorje, a Tibetan monk and fellow instructor at the university, met the Dalai Lama during a trip to India last summer. It is these two gentlemen who laid the groundwork, and really the two that are responsible for this visit, for the Dalai Lama coming to the University of Arkansas. And I want to specifically thank them for their hard work and assistance in bringing him here to campus. As a result of the, uh, of, of the intelligence, the humility, the hard work, and the sheer endurance, partly because of these qualities in our students, we were granted last summer an audience with the Dalai Lama in Dharamsala, India. And it is my personal belief that this meeting helped to make our case that Arkansas would be a worthy place for the Dalai Lama to visit. And I'm, of course, very happy in that His Holiness will be visiting our campus. From the first day that I arrived in Fayetteville, meeting Dr. Birds in the pit near biggest stadium I have ever seen. I thought, I thought that Dalai Lama should be come to our university. For Tibetans, of course, His Holiness Dalai Lama is our true leader, living symbol of compassion and kindness. Any one of six million Tibetan people living in Tibet now would love to walk days just for in opportunity to see His Holiness Dalai Lama for a few seconds. And, and now uh, everyone here will have opportunity to see him, to hear him, to learn from his wisdom of love and compassion.